come into our comfortable seated position. And let's have a strap handy today. Probably should have said that first. You can just sling it over the back of your chair. And if you don't have a strap, you can always use a scarf or a tie. I'll just give you a minute to get settled. Once you are seated, sit towards the front of your chair so that your spine can sit up tall. And notice both sitting bones. Invite both of your sitting bones to relax. See if they can get heavier. And then let your feet relax. Allow the bottoms of the feet to widen. Notice that you are breathing. Becoming aware of your natural breath washing in and out. And open your ears to listening. I'll ring the bells for us. Bringing one hand over the heart, one hand over the belly. Let's come into our Dirga breath. As you inhale, fill the belly chamber first, then the ribs, then the chest. As you exhale, release your breath from top to bottom, chest, ribs, then the belly last. As you breathe, you should feel your body expanding out to all sides as you inhale. There's a tendency for us to feel tight and get taller as we inhale. Instead, can you stay the same height and allow your body to expand in all 360 degrees around you? Good. 
could keep this breath, but instead of filling every chamber, let it be a little bit softer so your breath can flow. Let go of any excessive effort. And begin to contract your throat slightly so that you can hear your breath as it washes in and out, sounding like the ocean. Releasing the hands. Dirga and Ujjayi. On your inhale, sweep the arms out and up. Fingertips might touch at the top. On your exhale, reach them out and down. We're helping to open the intercostal muscles on each side of the rib cage. Building our lung capacity. This time at the top of your inhale, interlace all of the fingers except for the pointer fingers. And on your exhale, gently lean to the right. Inhale to center. Exhale, gently lean to the left. And this time when you come to center, release the hands. Let your right arm down, reach your left arm up even higher and over the head and stay here as you breathe. Your breath might naturally feel a little tighter. Can you breathe even deeper instead? Stay here, take your arm that's in the air and reach it down and away from the neck. And just let your chin glide forward and back. Sending your breath into this left side of the neck. Bring your right hand to hold the head gently to the side. You can sit your torso up, but your head is still leaning to the right. Good. And release. Inhale, both arms up. Exhale, your left arm down, right arm reaches up and over. Stay here.
Now keep your head exactly as it is. It's leaning to the left. But take your arm that's in the air and reach it down and away so that you can open the neck. Good. You can kind of spread through these right fingers so any tension in the neck and shoulder can release out through the arm and hand. Gently glide the chin forward and back a little bit. Loosening up the neck. And keep your head to the side. You can hold it to the side with your left hand. So not the right hand, but the left hand. Yeah, good. And then just let your torso sit up straight, but your head is still leaning to the side. Good. And your right arm is still sticking out to the side. Take a couple more breaths here. When you're ready, release. Let both arms release down. And let's circle the head and neck. Today, I'd like you to imagine that you have a pencil tip sticking up out of the crown of the head. And this pencil tip is drawing a circle on the ceiling. Inhale as your head comes towards the back of the circle. Imagine your neck is lengthening up as well. Exhale as you come towards the front. You might feel this all the way down into the arm. The arms might feel a little tingly or sandy. The next time you come towards the front of the circle, reverse the direction. When you're ready, bring your head to center. Open the feet wide, an inch back into your chair. Let your right shoulder and arm dangle down in front and let it circle. You can let your left hand rest on the left thigh. Now keep your breath here. It's natural to forget about the breath. Keep your breath. Circle the other way. Lean your left arm onto the left leg, reach your right arm up and take big circles with this right arm. Other way. It's normal to hear a little cracking 
just make sure that it doesn't hurt. Good, reach this right arm up and over, leaning as far as you can to the left. And release, bring your right hand to the right leg. Let your left arm and shoulder dangle in front and circle it. Lubricating the joints is one of the most wonderful things that you can do for keeping the body young and supple. Keeping it healthy. And go the other way. Release the circling. Lean your right arm onto your right leg and reach your left arm up and over to the side. See if you can deepen your breath. Lean as far to the right as is comfortable. When you're ready, release it out. Oh, whoops, I forgot the circles here. Okay, big circles with this left arm as you lean to the right. Spread through your fingers. Other way. Good, reach it up and over the head. And reach it down to your legs, sitting up, both hands resting on the knees, circling our whole torso. Bring it forward and back. And if you're too far back so that your back is touching the chair, just inch your sitting bones forward a little bit. Good. Your heart is extending and reaching forward at the front of the circle. And at the back, you'll feel your back round, getting into the back of the heart and the shoulder blade. So really reach the heart forward towards me as you inhale. And open the back of the heart as you exhale. Beautiful. Let's slow it down. And reverse the direction. Remember, it doesn't matter what you actually do. You can follow me or you can do your own thing. Whatever feels good. And slow it down, going in slow motion. And let's come to the position where our heart is reaching forward. 
you're folding, you're pressing into your feet, maybe reaching the sitting bones back. As you reach the heart forward and you're growing out of the hips, now tuck the chin so it's your entire spine right through the crown that's lengthening forward. And take a couple deep breaths here. If it's comfortable, you can bring your fingertips to the floor, folding down. Let your head hang. See if you can send your breath all the way down into the groin, into the legs and the sitting bones. On an inhale, begin to rise up, come up halfway, keep the chin tucked. And then rise the rest of the way up. Close the eyes, take a moment to just feel the here and now. Let's come up to standing. We'll do a short standing sequence and then we'll sit back down and we'll use the strap with the legs. So bring your chair in front of you with the seat facing away. And just step back away from your chair a little bit and bring your hands to your hips. And circle your hips. This affects your whole body. So notice how it goes all the way up into the upper body and the neck. And it goes all the way down into your feet, which are shifting weight. This is great for creating good balance. Now let's slow it down. Inhale as your hips reach forward. Exhale as they reach back. See if your circle might be able to get a little bit bigger when it's slow. Reverse the direction. Find your steady pace again. Now slow it down, see if it can get bigger. Good, release to center, press down through your feet, standing tall. Inhale, reach the arms out and up. Interlace all the fingers except for the pointers. The pointer fingers stick straight up. Exhale to one side. 
Inhale to center. Exhale, other side. Inhale to center. Exhale, let your right arm come all the way down to the right side, leaning through this left hip. Inhale up. Exhale, other side. You're taking a couple breaths here. Lean into the right hip. On an inhale, come up through center. Exhale, arms release. Shoulders glide back and down. Take your strap and hold it behind you. Make sure that you're turning away from your chair so that you can fold without hitting the chair. Inch your feet so they're shoulder width apart, bend the knees slightly. Reach your hands back away from your body. You're welcome to stay right here in this little back bend, or you can add the fold to it. Let your head hang, knees are bent as the arms reach away from the back. Keep your breath. Can you find space in the pose on your inhale? What can you soften and let go of on your exhale? Maybe the neck gets longer. Maybe the shoulders relax. When you're ready, roll it up one vertebrae at a time. Arms release and the head comes up last. Release your strap to the seat. Bring your hands to the chair. Bend the knees, start to stick your tailbone out behind you. One step at a time, walk your feet back into downward dog. You're reaching your sitting bones back. Your sitting bones might be even farther behind you than the heels of your feet. And then let your heart get heavy, let your head hang as your heart and head melt towards the earth. You're welcome to walk it out, bending one knee and then the other, like you're walking in place. Now gaze forward. Walk your feet all the way up. Inhale, reaching out and up. Reach up so high, a little back bend happens. Exhale, palms come together at the heart. Let's lower our downward dog. Turn your chair so the seat is facing you. Bringing your hands to the seat. You can have wide fingers on your seat or wrap the hands around the side edges. One step at a time, walk it back. 
reaching back through those sitting bones, heart and head melt. Notice where your breath is able to find space on your inhales. What can you let go of on the exhales? You can hang out here a little bit longer or inhale into high plank. Try to bring your heart over your hands. Reach back through your heels. The body is strong here, like a board. You can go back into downward dog. Or let's practice up dog. Coming into your plank pose. And then relax your pelvis towards your chair. Press into your hands. Can your shoulders glide down the back even more as you lift the heart? When you're ready, you bend the knees, sink it back into downward dog. Walk your feet up. And let's bow here. Let your head come all the way down to the seat of the chair. Relaxing in a forward fold. Press into your feet, widening the soles of the feet. Slowly inhale as you reach out and up. Reach up so high, a little back bend happens. Palms touch, exhale, bringing them to the heart. And really. Let's come seated in the chair and we'll work on the legs a little bit more. Oops, I want you to be able to see my feet. Sit towards the front edge of your chair and let your strap open. Step your right foot into the strap and just hold on to it with both hands. Okay, my right heel is still resting on the ground. Now inch your left foot out to the side just a little bit so that you have some space to circle this right foot. Draw your belly button a little bit towards your spine so you're sitting up tall. Your shoulders glide down the back and the elbows are bent. So you're using your arms to circle the leg. You're using your upper body strength. What I don't want to see happen is this. Okay, so don't use your shoulders for strength. Keep your shoulders down. Use your arms and your belly, your core. Your core includes the back side of your belly as well, your low back, your middle back. Good, now breathe. You have that nourishing ujjayi breath. Go the other way.
And lift the leg up. You can walk the hands a little bit closer. Hold the strap with your left hand only and reach or pull the leg to the left. Reach your right arm away. Gazing towards your right hand. See if you can lift the heart a little bit, getting taller. Switch. Bring your leg through center. Hold the strap with your right hand. Keep that right shoulder gliding down as you reach the leg out to the right. Left arm reaches away. Good, go back and forth a couple times to the left. And to the right. You can take a break or take one more left. And right. You bring it to center, try to lengthen it up a tiny bit higher. And let it down all the way to the ground. Oh. Release. Taking the other leg, stepping your left foot in, just let it rest, extend it. Inch your right foot out to the side a little bit so you have more space. Lifting this left leg up, begin to circle it. Shoulders glide down the back. You're using your arms and your core. Keep your breath. Remember, it's okay if your circles are only this big. Let's go the other direction. We're lubricating the hip, we're opening the back of the leg. Lift it up at center. Hold the strap with your right hand only. And start to draw the leg to the right. Keep that right shoulder down. Reach your left arm away, gazing towards your left hand. It's a twist. Now switch hands, holding the strap with your left arm, reach the left leg away. Right arm reaches on the opposite direction. And a couple times, right and left. Bring it to center, lift it up. Let it down, let the strap out. Release. Let your strap fall to the side. Inch your feet so they're close together but not touching. Bring your hands to the waist and reach your right foot forward, circling through the ankle and allow your toes to get into it too. So we started with the head today and we've been working our way down. 
Circle the other way, try to spread and scrunch the toes. Your body is building strength. You might feel it working as you are holding this right leg up. Draw the right knee in. Inhale, reach it up. Exhale, point the toes, draw it in. Inhale, reach it up. Exhale. Stay here for a couple breaths or take your right ankle to the left knee, lean it forward. Three breaths. Softening on the exhale. If your ankle is on the knee, draw it into the chest, sitting up and let it down. Hands come to the waist or hips, reach your left foot out, circling intentionally through the ankle, let your toes get into it. You're welcome to try closing the eyes and feel the ankle and the foot. Circle the other way. And draw it in. Flex the foot, inhale, reach it out. Point the toes, exhale, draw it in, sit even taller. One more. Stay here, hugging the knee in, or bring the left ankle to the right knee, maybe lean it forward. Three breaths, wherever you are. On an inhale, draw the knee in if it wasn't. Exhale, let it go. Take both hands at the hip area and sweep them all the way down. One more time. Coming back to where we first began. Sitting bones relaxing. Feet widening. Spine is tall. Let your breath be natural. Noticing this moment. We are going to bask in the energy that we've created from this practice. So 
So go ahead and rest either in the seated position or lying down on your back. And as you rest, allow the benefits and the energy of your practice to circulate and distribute through your body, and even through your space around you, above the head, and below the feet. in front, behind, and on each side, as if you are in a loving cocoon, allow the energy of your practice to hold you
allow your breath to deepen. Allow your fingers and toes to gently move. And if you are laying on the ground, you can roll to one side, eventually making your way to seated. Bringing the palms together at heart center and honoring yourself. Your practice not only gives back to you, but to others as well. The light in me honors the light in you. Namaste.